Welcome everyone to a very interesting Urbanist episode. I'm actually going to a baseball game. This is a good old American tradition that I haven't indulged in in years. Uh, even though I grew up in New York City with two major teams. We're in Chicago, so we are in the home of the Cubs. There's also that other team called the White Sox, but we won't talk about them today. So today, join me here at Wrigley Field, the second oldest major league ballpark in the United States of America. And right now, the game is ongoing. Um, I'm super excited to show you around. I can't show you too much of the game because otherwise I will get uh, demonetized. Uh, and then there's going to be a lot of, a lot of copyright music playing. Well, let me show you around a little bit. So welcome, welcome everyone. Nice to see you here. I'm Ariel. This is Urbanist. Let me know where you're watching from. We are at an official baseball game. This was open 1914. Quite a long time. I would love that, yeah. yeah. I'm really so, sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh my god. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, this is. Oh, no worries. Can I buy you a beer? Yeah, I would love that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> I think there's a stand right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It happens. Please don't please don't put it down here. We'll get something. All right, everyone. I had a beer with me, but <laughs> I'm really sorry. it went in my it went I'm shaky because my beer really fast. <laughs> but but it happens. So I'm we're gonna sorry. we're gonna eat a hot dog and a beer. That is well. hot dog. <laughs> I still I still it's still surviving. Luckily, the line is short over here. Awesome. Yes. I'll take the. Uh, no worries. It's local. I'll take the big wave. Are you guys from Chicago? Yes, yeah. Yeah? Oh, cool. Awesome. Are you from here? I'm, no, I'm a New Yorker. Are you from New York? So don't tell anyone I'm wearing this cap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's already got her eyes on you. <laughs> so what made you decide to come out here? Uh, well, I, I travel for a living, so so I do, I do YouTube videos for a travel. Stadium. Bear with it. <laughs> and I had to go on handheld because they don't allow backpacks at all uh, and no gimbals. So I had to go handheld. So that's why it's a bit shaky today. And I'm one handed right now because I'm. Thank you so much. I don't know where we're going to sign. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you again. Have a great day. Bye. All right. Be required. The USA is an English. Yeah, we do. Yeah, they So here we are right in the middle of the city, which is the coolest thing about the stadium. I'm not sure if anyone can sit here, but I'm gonna do it. Okay. 
Okay, that was a hilarious incident. Uh, so I was carrying a beer with me, a Goose Island, and a hot dog uh, for the reason to show you a hot dog and a local beer. But that's okay. The hot dog survived. I was going handheld, so I was uh, not balanced as well because as I end up going to the game, I found out, no, I can't bring uh, my backpack. So I had to check out my corner where you can check your bag for only 20 bucks. It's pretty expensive. Uh, and then the other thing is I found out that you can't use gimbals, uh, which was a surprise. I thought I would be able to bring that in. So that's why I'm handheld. <laughs> and as I was showing you, I had my beer and uh, the woman behind me <laughs> uh, bumped into me, honest mistake, and it just flew. Uh, but uh, shout out to the woman who bought me the beer again, so that was so kind of you. So let me show you a little bit about the park and I'll show you a little bit more of the, uh, of the stadium. I can't show you too much of the game because uh, as I mentioned, it's not, it's a gray area when it comes to copyright, but I'll show you just a tiny bit. Let's have a hot dog. So here is the Vienna po Polish sausage hot dog. If you want to watch the game, you can go on MLB and watch it as I'm, I'm doing this, as I'm showing you around the stadium. But here's a Polish hot dog. I had to have a official, almost Chicago dog. This is the other version of a Chicago dog. It's the slightly bigger one. It's the Chicago toppings, no ketchup, as they say. But first, let's try a beer. So I got myself, this is a Kona Brew Golden Ale. Never tried these guys. Established in 1994. Liquid Aloha. Ooh, is it Hawaiian? So yeah, tell, don't tell any New Yorkers that I'm wearing a, a baseball cap. Cheers. Balls are being thrown. Balls are being thrown around. It's a very nice light beer. Pretty crisp. It looks like you got sunburned. No, I'm red because of that very funny incident, that's why. It happens to anyone. Trying to juggle too many things, handheld. Not the best thing. This is the reason I might need an assistant. So, if anyone wants to, Join me for random sports games and carry on the camera for me or the beer if you let me know. Uh, let's try this out. It's a good Chicago dog here at the ball game. So we got the neon green relish. Look at that. That is not the paint from the field, but that is neon green relish. I have tomatoes, onions, and mustard. But apparently ketchup is a uh, blasphemy against the great city of Chicago. So it's like pineapple and pizza to the Italians. You can't put ketchup on your hot dog here. This is an American pastime. And a good baseball game. I think it says you look cheeky with the, with the baseball cap on. Indeed, I do look cheeky with the baseball cap. Your stomach is going to turn green, says E. Rebus. I think it is going to turn green. So this is one of the, this is the second oldest major league ballpark in America right now and it was built in 1914 so a very long time ago uh, originally called Weedman Park and this guy was a restaurateur who opened up a very famous chain of restaurants 
started a team over here. He started he wanted to start a team right here in this area of the north side of Chicago. This was a seminary, but it laid abandoned for a few years. So he was, he was easily able to scoop up the land and build his stadium. The thing is, the stadium was still in the not exactly to regulation as stadiums are today. So this is one of two, was called dual box. Uh, the other one being Boston Roots Fenway Park, which actually didn't go. I'm going to show you a little bit here. So lots of people. 40. I end up getting uh, standing seats, which apparently means I can standing seats. It's a pretty good view. You can't see a home run if they hit it. I think they're taking a break. Oh, awesome. So I can show you the field now. Or no, no, no. It's the uh, new inning. I don't know anything about uh, baseball, so pardon me. In terms of the actual game mechanics. Oh, I think I can show this because they're warming up. So these guys are warming up. Uh, apparently it's the seventh inning. I'm not sure what that means. Let me know how many innings there are in the game of baseball. Now right down there, right from this park, this baseball stadium being right in the middle of a major city and it being a slightly different shape than was regulation. Over here, where they would catch the ball, would be padded. But that is brick. It's just covered in ivy, which is very sharp in some parts. So I ended up spending about $33, just like uh, $38, because of the uh, ticket fees uh, had to go ahead of time. So it was $38, uh, and I bought it like two hours ago. But the thing is, if you buy ahead of time, you can get much cheaper. So I end up getting the standing room ticket, which apparently means that you don't have a seat. You have to stand. I'm not sure what these seats are. Can you put a Where's your cups? Phone finger. <laughs> don't have a phone finger. It gets greener as the year goes by, says Diaz. So yeah, apparently if, it, if the ball gets stuck in the ivy, and this ivy was installed in 1937, because I assume uh, poor baseball players were getting their and not a good grand slam. This would be a bad grand slam, trying to catch the ball and colliding with this brick wall. But if the ball gets stuck in the ivy, they just raise their hands and apparently something happens. So it's the Cubs versus the Pirates. Uh, let me know if anyone's a Pirates fan. Uh, Laurie says you're at a baseball game. Indeed I am, Laurie. And by pure happenstance, I'm drinking a Hawaiian beer. I originally had Goose Island, and, um, which is from Chicago, but there was a major spillage that happens. And the major says, sing me, take me out to the ball game. <laughs> Maybe they'll sing it at some point. Um, how do you like the beer? The beer is really good, actually. It's a really good beer. It's a very light beer. Lord. Thank you so much for asking. So, 1914, when this opened up, it, the first team that played here was called the Whales. But then that went under, and there was another team on the west side playing called the Cubs, and they already had a few different names. Apparently the name Cub came from 
the younger players that were called the, a cub, they're a little cub. They're like a young player joining the team. Cubs, of course, means a little bear. They end up picking up that name, it's called the team the cubs. And throughout its years, they actually end up bringing small little bears <laughs> as mascots. Not a guy dressed as a bear, but an actual bear. The problem is, one bear escaped and devastated a tailoring room. Another bear chewed off his chains and ran a while. Another bear was scratching so much the teammate that they send them over to the dugout of the opposite team. At that time, it was bear in their dugout and after that they just gave up on the bear and decided to go with an animated bear to make it a lot easier so andrew thank you so much for putting the link here in the stadium go to the link as i mentioned i can't really show the game too much Simon says, why is American sports so shit? <laughs> it was a slow game, I got a bit. I mean, Europe basically has a uh, cricket, so it's uh, the equivalent. Alright. Let me drink a little bit more beer and be on my way, show you more around the field. It must be packed. Yeah, today's a, a basically a sold-out game. Almost sold out. 40, almost 41,000 people are here. It's a, it's a lot of people. Maureen says, wow, it's packed. Yep, sunny day here. All right, let me drink a little bit more. Here are the guys that sell the concessions as they're walking around the aisle. Ron says, don't drop your beer. <laughs> Too late for that. Eriva says, <laughs> a lot of people says, oh, like, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Are you drinking Big Wave? That's my secret. Laureen, this is Big Wave. Yes, it is. Big Wave. Adam says, do I like baseball? Not really. I haven't seen baseball in ages. I, I, I'm not too into sports. Um, but a lot of people wanted to see Wrigley Field. So I decided to come in here. Go handheld, live video, try to juggle a bunch of things. Mission accomplished. Rachel says that's all right. Let's continue on. Let's walk. Show you more around the stadium. We're at the seventh inning. Zero guests. Oh, Cubs. Wow. Cubs are beating the, the Pirates 16 0. Dance to the music, everyone. says thanks you look like Magnum P.I. <laughs> or basically any celebrity trying to hide. What's up? What's up? Fink says wow smashing the pirates. Oh yeah. Pirates are being crushed.
Susie says, I went to a uh, Yankee game in Baltimore. Oh, cool. What's the score right now since friendly? Apparently it's 16 out. Cubs are crushing. Diaz says, so cool to be vicariously through you and Wrigley. Oh, yeah, yeah. Says we're up high. Oh yeah, we're getting high today here at the stadium. I mean, in terms of the stairs. Head to the Nessie Lounge to the oldest bar in Wrigleyville. Ooh, cool. <laughs> Jason says, yikes, nosebleed seats. It's actually a kind of cool view, I think because the actual baseball stadium is a little smaller, maybe. Let me know if anyone knows the dimensions. To me, it strikes me as smaller than City Field or Shea Stadium, which I used to go a few times as a little kid. Only been to Yankee Stadium once. Here you're covered by the elements. Oh. <laughs> Kay says, imagine trying to find your way to the bathroom. You know, there are so many bathrooms here and they're gigantic. Uh, at least the Menza is. There was the there was barely a wait. Oh, so here are I think the true nosebleed seats are these ones. Very high bleachers. You're toasting in the sun. <laughs> How do we get up there? You're toasting in the sun right there, and then there's another one right over here. No one's sitting here. Are you even allowed up here? So many Hispanic players play. Puerto Ricans make like a huge portion of, of some of the most famous players and also now Dominicans. Puerto Rico was, um, gave birth to many amazing players. One of the most famous ones is Roberto Clemente. After him in Puerto Rico. Died unfortunately in the paper. Which is very sad. Let me know what other famous uh, players are from your area. I think there's like one or two Japanese guys there. Today's guest conductor, Bert, took me up to the ball game. People are standing up up here.
one in the comments. Take me out to the point. I don't know the words. One, two, three, catch the round. I'm making Preston so happy. I'm so glad. So, so many of you requested Wrigley Field, so I felt compelled to come over here. Jade says, how do you not know the words? Jade, I have put a stain upon my American brethren. Please forgive me. Please, America, forgive me. My apostrophe capital M has been degraded to a lowercase m because of this transgression. <laughs> Adam says, would you get some uh, baseball <laughs> merchandise? Maybe a, I already got my cap. This is an official cap, by the way. Urban is in the ba uh, ball game. It's only field. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh! And that's a home run. I'm just gonna, just gonna pretend that's a home run. The ball's over there at those buildings. Samster says, great Cubs cap. Oh yeah, oh, for sure. We even had sticker and everything. So I took off the sticker, but I had the sticker and everything. Look at that. Official Cubs cap. Brand new. Off off the presses. Rainess is getting some postcards. Ooh, do they sell postcards here at the gift shop? What do they do? I'll buy some. What, what souvenir would you buy? Let, me, let us know in the comments. Wow, how did we get over there? What, what the hell? These seats are in a different building? Holy. What is this? What is this? They're literally in a different building. I feel bad for those people who live in those apartments. Devastation that has transpired here. says no one lives on those buildings they don't okay yeah it seems pretty empty but what is that let me know how how does this work uh for any uh locals out there how does this seat, uh, seating work 
Ross has a can of gum. No, no gum. Uh, though, as a little kid, I remember the big baseball gum. So, for anyone who's not an American, hasn't been in America, there's like these huge baseball gums. They were actually a kid version of the chewing tobacco, which uh, stereotypically the baseball players would uh, chew many decades ago. The problem is with that chewing tobacco is that it's, it's terrible for your mouth. Uh, so you would get terrible mouth cancer from it. A lot of people did. Uh, so chewing tobacco, I think, was basically legalized or like was severely restricted. Um, so they end up making the kids version when, at least in the 90s when I was a little kid. So you would have this gigantic, what would be chewing tobacco. <laughs> uh, Big League Chew says, uh, Susan, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if they sell it here. That's a good question. Something's happening with people, people are excited. People used to live there. They started. Uh, they started that because tenants would go to the roof and walk for free. Ah, fascinating. It says WrigleyRoofTops.com. It's comfy seats, guys. Don't don't buy regular seating. Just just buy your standing seating. Come here to the corner. You got awesome views. Paying for seating is overrated. This is like a, this, this is an exclusive urbanist pro tip from someone who doesn't know anything about baseball, aside from researching the history of this field. I have exclusively given to you a golden nugget of information. Buy standing seats, come to the corner and have amazing views. It's almost like box seating for the price of $25 by plus a bunch of fees that goes up to about $38. Fila says, where do you have a bench test? <laughs> I do, I, I have to do in the classic seating. Beautiful sunny day for a Cubs game, oh yes. It's crazy, we're, we are literally right in the middle of the city. So if you're wondering why I'm not showing the game, as I mentioned, it's a lot of copyright issues. So if you want to watch the game, it is most of the games are always streamed online. And you can watch it in far better quality. I'm kind of just showing you the ambiance. DS says, look like you're having fun in Chicago. I am indeed having fun in Chicago. I'm glad I came. It brings back memories. <laughs> Please stream live from Cedar Point, Ohio. Best of the park in the U.S., says Lisa. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Something's happening, y'all. Oh. Uh oh, last call. Let me show you more, more around before the rush of people coming out. This guy with the huge camera. Let's do a, a seat test. Baseball lunch test. Baseball edition. Alright. Well, this is partly obstructed, but if I were to sit there, that would be nice. But let me just do it here. Okay. Ooh, I like it. Good seating. It's actually comfier than the than the New York ones. At least from what I remember, Shea Stadium it used to be like tight. I could barely, like, even as a young teenage boy, I remember being squeezed in. But here's pretty spacious. I don't feel too squeezed. If I was sitting right there, I'd be a great view. Uh, comfy and. I, I like the energy. I like that I'm very close to the baseball field, which is not the case in some other stadiums where it's a lot more steep. 
I would give this a for a stadium seating. I've been to a few stadiums in my life. This is better than a lot of the stadiums. But the fact that we're so close, 8.8 uh, .8 out of 10. All right, let's go. Is there uh, room to move around? Not really. My knees just fit right. Rex says, you look like a true Chicago hit. <laughs> it's the Cubs hat, that's all you need. Cubs hat, maybe a hot dog. Done. So there's one more left. Let me know how long do you estimate the game to last for anyone tuning in. Susie says, "Look, you look like you're having a jolly old time. So water costs $6. Beer is about $11. Um... Pretty good beer, so it's, in the, it's almost, I think, basically a pint. Hot dogs are about $10. All right, we saw the stadium, now let's uh, walk around. Use. So here we got cocktails, concessions. Food options as well. And people game down there. Oh no, that's the train station. So that's the Addison train station, built in 1900. And we got a load of people waiting. And here we have the streetscape. Birdie says, that is expensive. Oh yeah, Birdie, along with this hat, which cost me $38, uh, or thir 30, yeah, $38. I spent, a, <laughs> for this baseball game, I spent like $120. Plus back check, oh my God, like $120 around there. Woo. Expensive. Expensive day out. But if you're smart about it, you can put the price a lot more down. You can't really sneak in stuff in here because they don't allow bags. They only allow like small strap bags, which I didn't know beforehand. Um, so you can keep the cost low with the ticket you buy beforehand. Or there might be other, other alternatives. Let us know. What are your pro tips for buying cheap baseball tickets? Susie says, imagine if you have four kids to bring. Yeah, don't do four kids last minute. It's going to cost you way too much. Oh, here's the Cubs cap. They sell something in there. Or popcorn. <laughs> Samster says it's worth every dollar. Yeah, Samster, I imagine. Yeah, if you're a baseball fan and like baseball history, this is the place to go. And drink before the game. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. So as many of you know, well, some of you know, so yeah, because we have a few baseball fanatics here tuning in. The Cubs won the World Series back in 2016. And it was against uh, the Cleveland Indians. But it was nearly a hundred years that the Cubs didn't win a game. And a lot of people blame it on the most unlikely animal. If you guys want to hear the story, let me know. Some of you might already know this, but if people who don't know, let me know if you want to hear the story. Why the straight? Rex Street, great food and a little partying. Okay, that's cool. Here are the prices. Got prices right there. Philo says now they're called the Cleveland Guardians. Oh, cool. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Letting all of us know. Mandy says the curse. Nineteen forty five, October. The Cubs are in the World Series. It's game four. And there's a Greek immigrant by the name of William Sianis. This Greek immigrant ended up buying a tavern nearby. That one day on this tavern, a truck apparently had a mishap 
and unleashed a goat, and that goat wandered into the tavern. William Cianus, this guy coming all the way from Greece, and you know the Greeks, they love their goats. They, don't, they, they barely eat. They eat goat cheese, but they don't eat goat. It's very rare, because they love goats so much over there in Greece. You can see this from my Greek broadcasts. So, he fell in love with the goat. He renamed the entire bar Billy the Goat. And the goat became a mascot and a staple of this tavern. So on um, this World Series of October 1945, he wants to bring in the goat in order to the stadium in order for good luck. He wants everyone to be um, joining in uh, this goat to bring in um, the winning vibes for the team. This would be normal in Greece, at least maybe back in his day, but not here. There's two, two, two things, either two stories happen. One, he actually got the goat inside the stadium and a bunch of people started complaining like, oh, terrible stench. The second theory is that he was rejected in the front. He was so pissed off that they wouldn't allow this dear goat of his. And he, mind you, he loved the goat so much he even grew a goat tea, quite literally. He was so distraught. And the guy in the front was like, no, no animals. It's like me with not bringing my gimbal. That was me earlier today. Like the guy was like, no backpacks, no gimbals. I'm like, no, why? That the owner of the stadium at that time was Philip Wrigley. He was the son of William Wrigley Jr. who initially bought the stadium, hence the name. Hence the bubble gum as well. So, Philip Wrigley Jr. says, hey man, you can come in, but not your coat. And he's like, why? Because it stinks. He got pissed off. He, he was like, never win ever again. And he left in a fury. Cubs! The Cubs lost that World Series in 1945. And they wouldn't win another for more than, what, 60, 70 years. Philip Wrigley died, William Cianus died, the goat died, but the cursed lived on. People tried to bring in goats here into the stadium in order to lift the curse, but no one cared. People thought... But finally, in 2016, something happened. William Cianus in his deathbed tried to, or a few weeks before he died, tried to lift the curse, but apparently it wasn't good enough. But somehow in 2016, the curse was lifted and they won. The Cubs broke the curse after 100 years. So Billy the Goat no longer is looming over Wrigley Field. Here's where I bought Chicago dogs earlier. Some Goose Island. <laughs> Felix is a dang goat. So here we get some souvenirs. Let me show you the souvenirs. So we can get a foam finger. Oh, I thought it was a middle finger. It's a, what? Is this the thumb? Is this the index finger? I'm disappointed. No postcard. It's okay. Oh, I hear some fan service. <laughs> I wonder what this is for. How much is the jersey? Four hundred dollars, says uh, Susie. Oh, I don't know. Uh, they don't have the prices listed. Is the bathroom line? Sorry. Why is that? Lori says, "Good story." So yeah, let me know. Let me know if you enjoyed that story. Uh, I'll show you the outside of the stadium, and then what I'm going to do is this neighborhood is very beautiful, so I'm going to do another line uh, just in case this one gets taken down because of all the copyright things, 
all around it. I'm gonna go live for a second time uh, in about 15 minutes or so after I show you the outside. So let's go outside. So that was the stadium, and the game is coming to an end. Wendy said, don't go. I'll do my best, Wendy. Hi, have a great day. Great, great people also uh, in the front. Great ushers, very friendly. Very friendly vibes. If you miss the game or, you know, can't catch it because the tickets were sold out, they have huge screens here outside where they're streaming it. And let me show you the outside. It's a historic landmark here in Chicago, just like Boston's Fenway Park as well. Did you grab your gimbal, says Robert. No, in order to grab my gimbal, I have to go about blo uh, two blocks away. And <laughs> it's in like a, I don't know, some type of hostel that hosts uh, bag checks. So that was nice. So it's pretty close. $20 for one bag. My bag isn't that big. Here's a Chicago Cubs Toyota. This is the one we'll go right next. Now this has to come in handy because it's sunny today. Skylark says, is there a transportation nearby? Yes, if you want to get here, it's very easy. Have a good day. Um, it's very easy to get here. Uh, you take the red line to Addison. Red line to Addison. Otherwise, you can. there's probably a lot of buses here. You can probably cab here if you beat the rush of people. Uber works here in um, Chicago. Oh, yeah, it's windy here in the windy city. All right, let me show you a famous landmark sign. And yeah, there's probably a lot of parking available. So here's the famous landmark sign. Home of the Chicago Cubs. Oh my god, Pirates got crushed. 17 0. Will the Pirates catch up? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Probably not possible at this point. Ella says it looks warm. Oh yes, it's warm. Warm and windy, so luckily it doesn't feel too hot. And let me show you the um, the plaque. Hopefully, get, get issues. So here it says Wrigley Field opened on April 23rd, 1914, as I mentioned earlier. And it was home first of the Chicago Federals, but they were also called the Whales. Designed by Zachary Taylor Davis and built for $250,000 in just two months. It took two months to build this. Cubs in 1916, and then the Chicago Bears from 1921 to 1970. Hi, everybody. Ricketts family now own Wrigley Field in a six year, one billion dollar investment. Wow, one billion dollars for spending. So National Historic Landmark as of 2020. Wow. So all in this area, there's a lot of bars, uh, a lot of sports bars, so you can catch the game if you don't have tickets or don't want to go to the stadium. Or afterwards, you can uh, post game and chug some Goose Island. Let's check out the statue. So I gotta go this way for my backpack. Robert says, exactly 108 years. Thank you so much, Robert. Mark says, today's my birthday. I didn't know. Hey, Mark, happy birthday. How did you not know your own birthday? How did you find out? Here's... Mr. Cub. Mr. Cub right there.
He hit 512 career homers with more than 40 in the season five times. Wow. Had a record five Grand Slams in 1955. First to be elected NL Most Valuable Player two successive years. Oh! oh we put up 20. Cubs got to 20. So before, uh, before 2016, the Cubs were known as the lovable losers. <laughs> Uh, I get, I'm not sure if they still are known as the losers. How have the Cubs been doing in the past few years? I heard not too good things. Uh, so people apparently love coming here. There's a lot of pride in the team, despite it losing all the time. Oh, man, it's, uh, today's Wrigley Field's birthday. Really? That's cool. There's a band about to play here. And it's called, uh, <laughs> I'm kicked out of choir. That's funny. Most famous cub is Ernie Banks. Let's play two. Michelle says, yep, Wrigley opened up this day in 1914. Yeah, I read it. Oh, it was April. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> I read it and even noticed. Oh my God. I did not do this on purpose. I had no idea. Um, that's an awesome coincidence. So, yeah. Cool. Okay, so um, if you're curious about the back check, I'll show you. Let me know if anyone's curious about the back check. You can ask me any final questions. If you have any final questions as a different city, let me know. Uh, as I mentioned, I've only been to a few baseball games when I was much younger. So feel free to ask me anything. And uh, if you want to see the back check, I'll show you. It's right Matt says, thanks. I hope you will go either to a Mets or Yankees game. Well, should I go to a rugby game? Maybe to a kids game? Yeah, there's like a Hall of Fame here. Okay, so in the back of the stadium in the Horizon entrance, Gate 5, right behind Gate 5, just gotta go right past this old firehouse. This is a very old firehouse. Actually, that's why I think one of the landmarks here. Let me show it. It's a cool old firehouse. Look at that. How much were tickets? Thirty-eight dollars. I spend in total twenty-five. It's a bunch of fees. Uh, I bought it directly from MLB.com, which is the Major League Baseball. And I use their app. So you'll need their app in order to download the tickets. So do watch out. If you are coming from a different country, make sure you download that app before you leave your hotel. Or go to a nearby coffee shop and download it. Tone says, let's go Mets. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta keep it a secret, uh, uh, New Yorkers out there. Don't tell anyone that I'm wearing this cap. Don't tell the Queensers that I'm wearing a Cubs cap. So right here at the orange cap, this is where the bag check is. So just right behind the stadium. StubHub is much cheaper, says AAP. Okay, th thank you, StubHub. A few other people left. Susie says left. Uh, Susie says uh, go to Yankee Stadium. Well, Yankee Stadium is iconic. It is one of the most beloved in all sports. So right here is the bag check. A hostel, some type of house. Not sure who I gave my bag to, but. <laughs> Apparently they are reputable and the 
not sanctioned, but um, approved to it by a few employees. So everyone, thank you so much. Chicago Cubs game. I would recommend. I'm actually surprised. I thought it would be a little bit boring, but um, I'm actually surprised that it was a. Uh, if you could get tickets on the cheap, do standing room, especially if you're not so so invested in the game. Do standing room. There's a bunch of seats available. You won't worry. Some some seats are actually better on the standing room section. So do that. You can maybe potentially. Which I heard that people do. Thank you everyone so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon. I'll be back live in this area to do a little bit more walking in the historic area nearby here. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. And take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out, la la la. Today, yes, Judith, you, 15 minutes today. <laughs>